Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from ISIM STAT 2021, problem number 6 from the PSB section. So it says that let x1 through xn be iid random variables which are uniformly distributed on theta comma 2 theta where theta is positive. Show that x order n by 2 is the MLE that means the maximum likelihood estimator of theta where x order n is the maximum of the x1 through xn. Again, find an unbiased estimator for theta based on the MLE. And lastly, for given any epsilon greater than 0, show that limit n tending towards infinity probability mod of x order n by 2 minus theta greater than epsilon is 0. So let us first do the first one. Given x1 through xn follows iid uniform theta comma 2 theta, right? That means the PDF of xi is nothing but 1 by theta if xi belongs to theta and to theta and 0 otherwise. The likelihood function of this entire sample is L of theta given x curl, this x curl is the sample value, is product of the individual, the marginal PM, PDFs, right? Because they are IID, so that means it is 1 by theta to the n if each of the xi's belong to the interval theta comma 2 theta, each of the xi's lie between theta and 2 theta and 0 otherwise. Now this, this particular thing can also be written in a slightly different form. It can be written as theta is less than x order 1, is less than equals x order n, is less than 2 theta. x order 1, this thing, this denotes the minimum value of the entire sample, and this one denotes the maximum value. So since each of the xi lies between 0, lie between theta and 2 theta, that means the minimum of them has to be greater than theta, and the maximum of them has to be less than 2 theta, right? So again, writing this particular thing, again, in a slightly different form, we have, for, from this inequality, this side of the inequality, we have theta less than x order 1. And from this side of the inequality, we have theta greater than x order n by 2. Therefore, we actually found out an equation, a function of theta. That means L of theta given x curl is 1 by theta to the n, provided theta belongs to x order n by 2 and x order 1 and 0 otherwise. Now, the first derivative, the L prime of theta is minus n by theta to the n plus 1 which is obviously negative, therefore th the function L theta actually decreases as theta takes values between these two quantities. Since it is decreasing, therefore the maximum value of this function within these intervals is at this point, right? Because it is decreasing, it is a strictly decreasing function and therefore the maximum value of this function is at theta equals to x order n by 2. Therefore x order n by 2 is the maximum likelihood estimator of theta. So you have found out the first part of the problem. x order n by 2 is the MLE of theta, right? It's very easy. Now let fn of x denote the CDF of x order n. Therefore, fn of x is nothing but probability x order n less than equals 6. <coughs> Therefore, probability maximum of the x1 through xn is less than equals 6. Since the maximum is less than equals 6, that therefore each of them is less than equals 6, right? And therefore, since they are independent, therefore probability, this, this turns out to be probability x1 less than equals x into probability x2 less than equals x and so on into probability xn less than equals x. Therefore, it's nothing since they're again iid, so probability less than x1 less than equals x whole to the power n. And this is the fx whole to the power n, where f is the common CDF of the xi's, right? Therefore, x order fn of x, the CDF of x order n, this fn of x is nothing but fx whole to the n, where f is the common CDF of xi. Now fx, as we know that the xi is follows uniform distribution, therefore fx is this, 0 if x is less than equals theta, x minus theta by theta if x lies between theta and theta, 2 theta, and 1 if x is greater than equals 2 theta. Therefore fn of x is nothing but 0 if x is less than equals theta, x minus theta by theta whole to the power n, x lies between theta and 2 theta and 1 if x is greater than equals 2 theta. So I have found out, we have found out the CDF of the x order n. Now, let fn of x denote the PDF of x order n and therefore fn of x is nothing but the derivative of the CDF. So n by theta into x by theta minus 1 over to the n minus. This is the PDF of the x order n, right? This is the PDF. So let the expectation of x order n is nothing but since expectation is expectation is positive, therefore each of the xi's are positive, right? They take values between theta and 2 theta. 
and hence x order in the maximum of them is also also positive so it's a positive random variable therefore the expectation can be calculated as 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity 1 minus fn x dx right 1 minus the cdf of that random variable this is the x order the cdf 1 minus the cdf of this dx so on integrating it's very easy to integrate this particular part it's theta into n by n plus 1 therefore expectation of x order n is n by n plus 1 into theta and just adjusting this factor we have 2 into n plus 1 divided by n into x order n by 2 is equals to theta expectation of this quantity is theta therefore this entire thing is an unbiased estimator of theta so we have, we were asked to find an unbiased estimator of theta based on the MLE. Since the MLE, you have already shown the MLE is x order n by 2. What we do, what we just did is that we first find, found out the expectation of x order n, and then we just adjusted a bit to look like that this is the this is a 2n plus 2 divided by n into x order n by 2. This ultimately boils down to just this one, right? This 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 particular thing. So this is an unbiased estimator of theta. Lastly, given epsilon greater than zero, probability mod of x order n by two minus theta less than equals epsilon is actually probability two theta minus two epsilon is less than equals x order n is less than equals two theta plus two epsilon. This is nothing but fn of two theta plus two epsilon minus fn of two theta minus two epsilon. Now since this thing, this thing is greater than two theta, therefore it easily becomes one, right? This part easily becomes one. And this part, this part is depends depends on epsilon. So this fn of two into theta minus epsilon is actually zero if this part is less than theta, and it is this thing if it lies between theta and two theta. As we just know from the previous calculation, fn of x is this. So the input we just give into the function depends. So the output depends on the input if x less than equals theta it's zero if it lies between theta and two theta if it's, it is this quantity and if it's greater than equals two theta it is this quantity so since we don't know the epsilon what epsilon we just know epsilon is positive but we don't know if it's greater than theta or less than theta we don't know so this thing becomes so either it is less than theta this entire quantity becomes less than theta or it lies between theta and two theta so now Ultimately, the this thing, this entire thing, this part, since this thing, if this thing 2 theta minus 2 epsilon lies between theta and 2 theta, it just boils down to this entire thing being between 0 and 1, this entire thing. And this part is already 0. Therefore, under the effect of limit, limit in towards infinity, this part is 0, right? Because if this part is less than theta, then it's zero. And if, th if this part is between theta and two theta, then also it lies between zero and one, which under the effect of limit is still boils down to zero, right? Therefore, probability the limit ending to its infinity, probability mod of this thing less than equals epsilon is one, right? Because we originally had one here, so this one. And therefore, the limit greater than epsilon, we are asked to find the greater than epsilon version probability mod of x order n by 2 minus theta greater than epsilon is 0, right? It is just 1 minus of this thing, so it's 0. So there you have it, the solution. You only needed to know the very definition of x order n and how to find its CTF and all that. It's very easy problem. It's one of the easiest problems in this paper. So yeah, there you have it, the solution to this problem. See you till next time.